hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is a ts tech talks video guys on today's video guys we are going to be going over um the different um ways we can manage our facebook page and the application we can use to manage our facebook page and how they actually work and what they can do also so the first one i'll be going to is a very classic um facebook um facebook application which is the facebook app this is the Facebook app. Normally, the Facebook app also allows you to manage your Facebook page. Um, all you need to do is to click on the menu icon right there, click on pages, and now locate the exact page you want to manage. And this is the page. So right from here, we can do a lot of things. You can notice, you can see the videos. You can upload, you can post. Um, there is an option for you to make posts. You can also edit your page. There are some few details and options you can do on editing the page. Um, this is where you have to create post and you can also create a story right there you see there is a way for you to create a story but there is actually limited things you can do now you notice um the option for you to create a story right there let me go ahead and click on it even more once more now you notice it allows me to actually um create and also i can go ahead and allow access to my post and publish now any post i'm publishing is going to be published to my facebook page but if you want me to um, if you want to always link your instagram go ahead and select this option to always link to the instagram and this is the instagram so it's going to share to your instagram page and then that's that let me go ahead and back out i don't want to post anything right now and then apart from that you can click on the overview to actually check how your pages is doing um what is going on or the latest things that is going on on your page very quick review right there or let me say a very quick insight on how your page is actually doing but it doesn't actually go in depth of everything but you can see click on see to see more and to see a lot of even more thing that is how the facebook actually works now let me go ahead and back out of the overview and you can also run ads um, when you click on the ads, you can go ahead and check um, active ads, create ads, or manage a running ad by clicking on this section. Although there are other tools or other apps that you can do better in that. And you can also check the inbox area. You notice when I click on the inbox right now, it actually navigated to a different application, which is actually not what I want to do right now, but I'm going to show you guys even later on. So they actually removed this button for inbox. So when you click on that, if you don't have that particular application, it's going to open um, Facebook Business Messenger or Facebook Messenger. And if you click on notification, it's actually going to show all of the notification you received so far from your facebook business page let me go ahead and back out and there is also this resource too that actually if you want to learn more about how to manage build your page grow your page and to make it successful that is what that does and there are even more settings when you click on more to manage your um, pages and a lot of other things you can also do very cool right but now let me go ahead and back out and open the next application so the next application is actually called facebook creator or facebook creator studio so um under the facebook creator studio you cannot do everything you can do on your facebook page right here but there are limited things you can do right here better here than the other areas so right now the facebook um creator actually um says or actually sees you as a facebook creator um rather than a facebook business page because having a facebook business page um an artist can manage a facebook business page but a content creator um, is actually seen as a different person on facebook so if you want to manage your facebook business page click on this um if you want to make post click on this icon on the top right area you can post video you can upload photo you can upload live and you can also upload test but i've also made a video about this you can go ahead and check my video on how to um use the facebook creator in fact i'm going to leave it on the description area so that you can check it more and see how it works um if you are going to upload a video when you click on upload a video you can upload a thumbnail right here which you can do on the facebook um app or the facebook um facebook um, primary application and also on the other one you can upload photo here the same thing you can do on every other one go live here and also on every other application but this is actually going to see as a different app you notice when you open the application the first thing you see is actually your insight of how your page is doing and when you scroll down a little bit you are going to see your recent post and in a different layout not in the previous layout and also you can easily um, request for help and also um, give feedback to Facebook 
probably for some reason and if you click on this next button on the bottom area you can see all of the posts you have made published posts schedule posts and your draft and if you want to see the insight you can go ahead and click on this button to quickly see the insight you can notice if you want to go deep into the insight just click on see more and you're going to see all of that and also below that area you are going to see the followers how is going how the followers and the view minute viewership minute and length of the viewership or how long people are spending time on your video you can go ahead and see all of those things on this um insight area um you can click on the net follower to see um the net follower by language and you can see i think that is not yet available because i don't have a popular channel yet or let me say i'm not yet that popular and if you want to check your inbox you can go ahead and click on this area and to see all of the inbox you can also see all of the comments right on the comment section click on this bell icon to see the notification and now i'm going right back to the home page so that is all you can do right here and if you click on this icon you can notice there are even more thing if you click on any of this it's going to be giving you more tip on how to manage your page just like on the previous page now let's go ahead and navigate to the next application that we can manage our facebook page with now the third application is actually called the facebook business suit now the facebook business suit actually um contains a lot of things but also not that perfect and i don't know why um facebook does all of this but they actually have their own way of doing things now when you open your facebook business suit it actually shows you that your page is actually connected to your instagram page now from this facebook business page you can manage your instagram and manage your facebook page under this particular application so um after this video you can go ahead and choose the one that is best for you to be making use of and i think i make use of the three of them because i use them for different different purposes and i'm going to explain that even more now you notice right there when it opens it opens your facebook and your instagram so you can go ahead and click on them individually to switch to each and every one of them and you can go ahead and click on the facebook to see all of the active facebook posts you can click on the instagram to see all of your active instagram posts also and then that is that and you can go ahead and create story right there very easy make a promotion and also post an an image and also a video just about any media and then after that you notice there is a to-do list that shows you how active you have been making your post and how active your posts have been going if you scroll down even more you are going to see your recent upload active stories and um you are going to see your recent ad you run and you're going to see even the insight both on the instagram and also on the facebook page and it's also going to compare them even more and also this also going to show you how um your activities on your page and the steps of you having a professional business page and you can click on to see all steps to see all of the step that you need to complete or all of the step that is remaining for you to actually complete your page and make it look more professional and there is also this um particular challenge that it gives when you are posting constantly like on the to-do list there is this task that um you can add a task and then make a lot of cool stuff and also sometimes when i make a post let me go ahead and make a post i hope i have a video right there um let me just make a post and say um uh, let me just add this and then click on next and then i want to upload it on the two area facebook and instagram and i'm going to click on publish and it's only showing me publish to facebook so um don't worry i only want to show you guys um how this works now i just finished posting on the facebook page now you notice that it also gave me um, a recommendation to also share this to the Facebook group I created. So I'm going to click on the Facebook TS Tech group and then I'm going to share that right there. So it's going to be shared on the group, which is also part of this page or probably linked to this page. Now, um, once, once you make any post, there is this particular task stuff that always display and ask you to make a post but i think i'm very active that's the reason why it's not displaying that particular um that particular task right now 
But if you are making posts um, for the first time, it's going to display that and ask you, it's going to like encourage you to keep posting for like six days to make sure you stay active. It's not actually a practice to actually remind the person that you need to be posting regularly for your page to be discovered easily or even more. So I think it's actually very cool. So the next place you notice the post area, click on the post section to see all of the recent posts and on the top area you can notice there are even more options for you to click on the story active story that is actually active story if you watch my previous video you can also check on the archived story right there you see all of the archive story click on this photo area to actually see collection of the photos you've made so far click on the planner to actually see um, the post you made recently or to make a plan ahead you can tap to actually create a plan on your Facebook page and just leave it and also if you want to create an event this is actually a very good way to for you to do that and you notice this big button right there is just for you to create a post you can click on that create an ad go live make a story photo and upload the post and now guys something I want to tell you guys about that is very unique between this and the other one you can also check your messages and your comments right there and then there are even more tools for you guys to check and then see now um, what I want to show you that is different from other previous application I showed you guys um, you notice right now I have a video right there let me go ahead and upload a very short video I'm going to scroll until I see a very short video this is a short video although this is a vertical video so, um, I clicked on the wrong thing so I'm going to go ahead and select it again um, let me click hello guys welcome to today and then click on next so this is a video right um normally i should be able to upload a thumbnail for the video and then add a description on this comment section and then click on next but it doesn't actually allow that on this facebook um, application but if you are making use of the facebook um, creator studio you can go ahead and add that after you've selected the post you want to make let me go ahead and select i'm going to choose allow allow and allow and i'm going to choose that same video this is the video next and now um, you notice where it says add thumbnail right there just right there click on that area and upload an image for your thumbnail and I'm going to do this particular image next so it gives you a unique thumbnail and then if you click on play, hello guys welcome to today's video by trust Stanley video. it's playing the same video but with different thumbnail different title description different title and description which is very different from the previous application from the free previous application so you can notice this is just the only thing different from this application and the other one very slight different but you might not notice that until you make use of the two application frequently that's when you notice the difference between those two applications so if you guys have gone through and used two of them you'll be able to decide which one you want to use best or for any other purpose so this is the reason why i have these two application right on my device so um the three application anyway so if you are interested in um, making use of your making use of facebook page making use of your mobile phone to manage your facebook page you need these three application and they are all needed for different purpose so guys this is just a comparison video i hope it's helpful if it is smash like subscribe to the channel and i'm going to see you on my next video please stay safe and peace